Hi, it's Peter again. This is going to be just a short video just to show some of the new settings and how to set up your email account so Eva can read and reply to your emails. So the first thing that you want to do is bring up your settings. Your settings are displayed. Tap on any setting to toggle through the available options. And I'll show you what's sort of new in here. There's a bunch of new little things in here, but the things that are mainly about the email. Um, this observe phone silent mode is new. Basically means that Eva will pay attention to whether your phone's in silent mode and be quiet. And you can turn that on and off now, whereas before it would always observe it. And the same thing is um, there's a separate setting for that for email and for text messages as well. Okay, so down here there's a new section for email settings, and you see you've got configured account zero. Um, basically, that'll show you how many accounts that you have set up, and I'll show you in a second. You'll tap on that, and that'll take you through setting up a new account. You can also just say um, define a new email address or an email account, and it'll take you into the same process. And in the next setting there, observe phone silent mode. That means if the phone is in silent mode, then you're not going to get any emails being announced. And then the next one, hold incoming messages, that's something that you can turn on and off with a command and that's documented. So you could, you could do that with a scheduled command or you could do it with a location-based action um, to read your email. So you might want to only read them while you're you know, driving home from work or something. And then the next option there is similar to what I added recently in the text messaging where you can do abbreviated um, options for creating your text messages so that read back each sentence that will make sure that it will read back your sentences um, for verification before you go to the next sentence and then the next one play prompt after sentences if you're familiar with the prompts and you know that it's you know cancel edit select again or done um, then you don't need to, to have that so you can turn that off and then confirm send messages that only works if you're doing a shortcut to a a reply to an incoming message you'll you want to have it confirm otherwise you could just say reply something something bang there goes your email so that's what that one's for so let's go and set up an account now you presently have not configured any email accounts okay so I tap on this one please choose the type of this account okay so here I've put in there the most popular email accounts and all the configuration settings are automatic automatically set up for those and if you have something different, um, then you choose other, and I won't go through all that, but there's a whole process there where you get to choose, you know, the server name and the port and the type and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's a little bit more involved, and if you have problems with it, and generally you can find all the settings on the web. So I'm going to do my Gmail account here. What is the name you would like to call your new email account? Gmail. Please choose the correct name for your new account. Okay, so I made it here that you can put any name on an account because that that name is what you use when you say, well, I want to enable, enable that account or disable that account um, so you don't want to have it reading emails. So you can give it whatever name you want, but I'm just choosing Gmail in this case. How would you like your name to appear on outgoing emails? Okay, so this is basically asking me what my real name wants to look like when I send an email, so I'll just type this in here. What is the email address of this account? Oh, okay, she says account. <laughs> okay, put that in there. Oh, I messed up. These keyboards are so old school. <laughs> Alright, so that's that, and it's going to ask me for my password, and I'm going to skip past that in the video when I edit it. What is the password for this account? It is configured and ready to use. The uh, details for this account are displayed. Tap on an item to change it. Okay, so after I entered the password, it basically comes up with the details there, and you can make adjustments by tapping on each of those items, and change them. And some of the other things that you didn't see here was um, the handle incoming. That's similar to text messages where you can choose the different types. And I recommend using the notify and prompt because it'll say, you know, new email from so-and-so, do you want to hear it? Um, 
obviously you can use all the other ones that are there and it's all documented as well. Um, the next one, contact record required. What that means is when that's turned on, which it is by default, it means it'll only read emails where it finds an email address of somebody in your contacts. And those are contacts that are in the default system group that you've probably already selected. So it's not just going to read all junk mail and stuff coming in, it's very selective about what it'll read for you. And then the next option there, mark messages as read. So if it does read out a message for you, um, whether it's because you have the whisper on or whatever, or speak or whatever, it'll mark it as read. Or if you do the notifying prompt um, and it says, you know, do you want to hear the message? If you do listen to it, then it will mark as it as read. If you don't listen to it, then it's not going to mark it as read. And then the next one, outgoing default. Obviously now you can set up multiple accounts, and these can be used for, for outbound mail as well. So if I choose that one to be the default um, address for outbound emails, then when I say send an email, it'll use this account to go out with. But you can also now say um, email Peter using Gmail, so it'll send an email to Peter using my account name Gmail. Um, so if you have multiple accounts and you have one that's a default, you can still use the other ones very quickly. And then the last option there is the read enabled on, and that's what I was saying before, you could say enable Gmail, and that'll turn that on. You could say disable Gmail, and that'll turn that off. And immediately once it's on and off, um, it, it won't be reading those emails. So I'm gonna go, um, now and set up and send myself an email to this and we'll see how it comes in. New email received from Peter Muller. Would you like to hear the message? Yes. This is a test message. I can also handle larger emails by breaking them into parts and asking you if you want to hear more at the end of each part. Would you like to reply to this message? Yes. First sentence. That is really great that we can now have receive emails and reply to them. That is really great we can now have received emails and reply to them. Edit. Please make your changes and press done. So I've got the abbreviated settings on there so you didn't get the full prompt for the message. So I just had to read back the message and then I can say the keywords to do the next thing. You'll see now I've got this little edit function here where you can edit inside of Eva and make your changes there if you want to. Um, and of course I could have just said done and it would have sent it right away or I could have said select and it would allow me to select from the different matches that Google Voice Recognition came back with. So. Um, I'll press done now. Your message has been sent. Okay, so it sent the message. A couple other things. When you're in um, a message that she's reading and she says, you know, would you like to hear the message? You could say hold and she will hold all your messages. Um, so maybe you're in a meeting or something and you forgot to turn her off or something and it says a new message coming in. You just say hold and she'll hold all your messages. So they'll just all pile up in there and then when you get out of your meeting you can say uh, um, release my messages or release sorry release email and um, she'll start reading the message to you one at a time and you can reply to them and if it's a larger message she'll break it into paragraphs and she'll read sort of a paragraph at a time and then she'll prompt you to say there's more uh, would you like to hear it and you can say yes okay or you can just shortcut and say reply or you can say no and then it'll skip to the next message so you've got those different options in there and you can also do a direct reply from a message so when she says would you like to reply you can say reply here is the answer to the email and she'll basically take you straight through to um, confirming that you want to send that message so it's just a one step thing and you can also do reply all so if the message comes through that's smart enough to realize that there's more than one recipient on the met or more than one recipient on the original message she'll ask you if you want to do a reply all and you can choose that or you can shortcut and say reply all here is my message and bang, that'll basically send that right out um, if you don't have the confirmations turned on so there's a bunch of options there and everything's documented it should all work fine just the most important thing is to make sure 
when you're setting up your account, get your password in there correctly. Because if you mess that up, it's not going to give you a, a big bunch of notifications that it's messed up. It'll just be quietly happening in the background. There'll be a message that'll be in the log, but it won't show up on the screen. So if, if you don't see emails coming in, it means that the contact isn't in your database, or that contact is in your database, but is not a member of your default group, or your email address um, password is wrong, or the server is configured wrong. There's a bunch of different things why it, why it won't work, but if you set everything up correctly, it should become or should be working immediately. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.